And right now, it's time to show you some of this morning's headlines from around the globe. The New York Daily News says longtime NBC News anchor Tom Brokaw revealed he's being treated for cancer. He was diagnosed six months ago with multiple myeloma. That affects blood cells in bone marrow. Brokaw says his doctors are encouraged by his progress. He says he's optimistic and is still, quote, the luckiest guy I know. A great man. That's right. The New York Times looks at NFL prospect Michael Sam, who on Sunday announced that he is gay. The father of the Missouri All-American is struggling with the news. Michael Sam Sr. says he's old school. While he loves his son, he adds, quote, as a black man, we have so many hurdles to cross. This is just one he has to cross. The Times of London says Virgin Atlantic is using Google Glass to check in VIP passengers on its flights. It's part of a six-week trial. The high-tech eyewear allows the crew to start the check-in process a little faster. It also lets them know about a flyer's dietary needs and preference in their drinks. And the Los Angeles Times says Barbie is unapologetic after striking a sexy pose for the new Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. The doll has been around for 55 years but never appeared in the magazine. Real-life beauties like Heidi Klum and Kate Upton are also in the issue. The Wall Street Journal says celebrity chef Paula Dean is ready to make a comeback. Last year, Dean admitted to using a racial slur long ago. She lost dozens of endorsements in her television show. And the Southern Cook says she has major financial backing and is in talks with networks and retail chains. And Politico says there were two vice presidents at last night's White House state dinner. Well, kind of. Julia Louis-Dreyfus tweeted this photo. As you know, she plays a fictional number two on HBO's Veep. She sat next to the real Vice President Joe Biden. Mm -hmm.